We're also following developing news this morning across the state about school bus drivers. All eyes will be on them to see if many are going to show up to work tomorrow. Some are protesting against the mandate that requires them to get the COVID-19 vaccine or get tested weekly. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cologne is live in our newsroom with the breakdown. And Christian, this could impact a lot of families across the state. Yeah, good morning. Tomorrow could be chaos for some school districts. According to the Connecticut School Transportation Association, there are about 400 drivers that could refuse to work tomorrow because they have denied getting vaccinated or getting tested weekly. As the state faces a bus driver shortage, another crisis could be on the way because of the state's mandates that require state employees to either be vaccinated or test weekly. For hundreds of bus drivers like Carolyn Petrell, getting the vaccine should be a choice. I want to let all the parents know that we are not trying to be interrupting their lives. That is not our goal. We want to do our job. We love our kids. Tomorrow, thousands of kids could either have no ride or be combined with other routes. The Connecticut School Transportation Association is estimating more than 300 drivers won't come to work, combined with the already 800 positions they have available. It's going to be a little bit bumpy Monday, more bumpy than it's been the last few weeks of school. And officials with the association say they have informed drivers about the free testing sites, but about 20% of the drivers don't plan on complying. We did reach out to the school bus companies like Darko, and they tell us they will not pull non-compliant bus drivers off the road unless the districts request it. And coming up in the next half hour, we'll have more on this potential problem tomorrow and what the governor says about it. In the studio, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.